You know when there's those times where you do something that you know you probably shouldn't be doing, but you do it anyways? Sprayed myself in the face with a whole can of paint. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! 10 out of 10, don't recommend. So welcome back to the channel everyone. So today I am going to be wrapping, uh, well I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some exhaust wrap stuff. So first of all, before we get into the wrapping stuff, I feel significantly better than I did on Saturday's video. So I got the test results back, completely negative. So no pigeon over here, ooh, we don't want no pigeon. Super, super stoked that uh, that test came back negative and uh, we don't have the pigeon. I am feeling significantly better. I have like a slight cough here and there, so kudos. It's, it's just a really bad time to get sick. If you guys, uh, just, you know what to do, wash your hands and whatnot. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start talking about this stuff. So anyways, like I, start, like I said at the beginning of the video, I sprayed myself in the face with an entire can of spray paint. So since we are doing some exhaust wrap stuff, uh, we're, we need some of this like high temp silicone ceramic coating uh, exhaust wrap spray paint that stuff. I made the mistake of watching you. The can, the, well, first of all, the can didn't spray. The can didn't spray at all. I've had the can for like two years. So I was like, maybe I can fix this instead of going to the store to buy a new one. Don't do it. Don't do it. So I, <laughs> I came across a video. Let me, let me grab this can actually, because I think I... Oh God, I lost the can. I don't think I want to touch this, but oh God, look at, oh, okay. Well, first of all, you can see I cleared the clog out of the can, but the whole can, the release pin in the can got shoved all the way down into it because I took my air compressor and I just pumped air into it to try to get the lock or the, the blockage out of it. And uh, 10 out of 10, don't recommend doing that because you will be sprayed in the face with a can of paint. Don't do that. So <laughs> with that, uh, let's start talking about what we got over here on the bench and uh, I'll show you guys how to wrap exhaust components properly and a super easy way to do it. So this is what I've got for you. So this is what we're gonna be wrapping today. If it will focus, this is a Tome over pipe and that is going to be going on the BRZ here soon, but we can't put it on the BRZ today because we gotta wrap it and paint it first. Now, I figured this would be a really good piece to show you guys because it's such a simple piece of piping to wrap. Now we are gonna be using DEI titanium wrap for this, this is the best stuff you can get. Uh, it's a little expensive, but I'll link it down below if you guys want this. And then after it's wrapped, we are gonna be using this DEI uh, high temp silicone coating. This is meant for exhaust wraps and it's gonna protect it. So that way you don't get any moisture underneath of the wrap uh, starting to corrode and destroy the pipe because that's a good looking pipe and we wanna keep our pipe looking good. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap it and then how to paint it and then kind of the finished product once we're done. Uh, we are gonna be using a heat gun to kind of speed up this up a little bit. We also have a bowl of water right here that we're gonna be soaking this wrap in. Update on the STI, the external wastegate has been ordered as well as the, as well as the turbo inlet. So we are almost done ordering parts for this car. The only things left that we need to order are the turbo, the header, fuel line stuff. Then we can start doing all the installs on the car. I did get the up pipe in from Grimspeed. So we have the 44 millimeter ceramic coated external wastegate up pipe. I also got my blow off valve in today, which is also going to be super exciting to get on the car here soon. So I'm waiting on the, uh, bypass valve piping to show up a couple other things, but we're so close. I also made a change to the turbo we're gonna be running. We're no longer gonna be using an FP green. We're gonna be stepping it up a little bit and we're gonna be using an FP black on the car. It's only $100 more than the FP green and I figured it is capable of another 100 horsepower or so, so that will be able to put us in a good spot horsepower wise if we wanna try to make more power later on. Let's jump over to this heat wrap stuff and uh, I'll show you guys kinda how to go about this and uh, how we're gonna start this off. First thing we're gonna do is, this is the titanium wrap, like I said, this will either come in titanium or fiberglass. Um, I do highly recommend the titanium one because the fiberglass one sucks to get in your hand. Uh, this also sucks, but it's a little less painful. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna throw it in this water here and we're gonna let that soak for about five to 10 minutes. And that's gonna let some water start to absorb into the wrap. Now, the reason we wanna do that is so we can stretch the wrap a little bit across the piping to get a super tight fitment on this because we don't want the pipe to come loose. We don't want anything like that. So we're gonna let this guy hang out in here for about five, 10 minutes after it is absorbed a good amount of water and it stops bubbling. I will grab the camera again and we'll start wrapping this. And uh, I'll show you guys kind of the patterns that you need to do, where to tie it and everything like that. So super stoked. So we'll recap here shortly when that is done soaking up water. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I've got the pipe in front of me right here. I also have the heat wrap right here. So the way that we are going to do this is we're gonna start from one end and work our way across. We are gonna use these metal zip ties, but these are gonna be temporary. These are just gonna hold the wrap in place so we can get the whole thing wrapped and then once it's wrapped we're gonna start using this we're gonna start using this wire to uh, permanently wrap it so I'm gonna start going here 
I'm gonna grab this first piece and we're just gonna start wrapping. You're gonna want about a quarter inch to about a half inch overlap between each section as you're going across this. And then once you get to the end, you're gonna wanna be able to tuck it into itself on the backside so that way it can stay together. That's pretty tight going around the pipe. So as you can see, the pipe is now wrapped in the heat wrap. Um, nothing is securing it except for the pressure of the wrap on itself. So what I need to do is I need to cut this end here, tuck it into itself, and then throw one of these zip ties on there to hold it in place. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave a little bit of excess so that way I can trim some off if I need to. Uh, my wrap is being a little annoying and it keeps tangling on itself, so stop doing that. The pipe is pretty evenly wrapped going all the way across. Then we have our one zip tie down here on the end, just holding everything in place. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking this wire tie and I'm gonna start putting wire tie around just a couple pieces going across this just to keep everything like set in one spot. Uh, you do wanna do this while it is still wet so that way uh, as it starts to dry out, it holds its position. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna start putting some wire ties on here and I'll show you the way I do this. Um, I'll show you one of them and then I'm just gonna knock out the rest of them on here just so you guys can get a, a heads up of what's going on. So you wanna take enough tie to be able to go around it and twist it. So I'm using probably about 10 inches of tie here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cross it over like that and then start twisting it. Now you're not gonna wanna only do this by hand. You're gonna wanna grab a pair of pliers and start twisting it on itself so that way it gets super tight. Then once you get it decently tight, go ahead and stretch those legs back up on that tie, cut off the excess, and then you're gonna wanna fold the nub down. I like to use like the flat side of the pliers so that way I'm not like stabbing myself, like that. So this is what it should look like after you get it done. So as you can see, there's just like that one piece of tie going around it and it's it's super strong. It's not going anywhere. And then that sealant or that high temp silicone coating that we're gonna be putting over this is also gonna help hold everything in place. But this is how I do it. I'm not a big fan of these zip ties back here. Um, I've never gotten them to like secure anything tightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down this pipe here with this tie and just start securing all of the wrap onto it. So this is what it looks like after just putting those ties on the exhaust. So I mean, the ties look a lot better than those zip ties would have. So we only used one of these stainless steel zip ties and that was right up here on the end. Now, because this wrap is all wet from our bowl of water here, what I need to do is dry this out. So I'm gonna grab a heat gun. I'm gonna start going over this and just drying it out. So that way we can start painting it. Now, before we start painting it, we are gonna have to mask things off. So uh, I'm gonna get this guy dried off. Uh, so that way the wrap kind of contracts a little bit more. Once it is dried off, we will get it hung up and we will start painting it. So let me dry this guy off real quick so that way we can get going. Okay, so this is what the overpipe currently looks like. So as you can see, looks super solid. Uh, everything is nicely wrapped. So I have all of the holes plugged with a little bit of tape. And then on the back sides of them, all of the flanges are also taped shut so we don't get any of that protectant coat on the inside of this. Now I have a little bit of cardboard right here that I'm gonna set up on the uh, backdrop back here so I don't start painting everything back there. So let me get that set up. We'll get this guy hung up off of the rafter up there so it's just kind of dingle dangling right there so that way we can get it painted. All right guys, so here is the pipe after it has been sprayed. So this is after three light coats and one heavy coat. Now it's still tacky, so I'm gonna leave this overnight to uh, fully dry, but I am happy with the results on it. So I'm not, not too worried about the flange uh, having a little bit of silver on it because the flanges were not my main focus on this, the wrap was. So the wrap overall, like we said, we, we wrapped it, 
we put the cable ties on it or at least just those little wire ties that I made uh, and then we painted it with that protectant so the reason that you want to use that protectant is just so water isn't going to be getting underneath of the wrap and just like I said decaying and destroying the pipe that you're wrapping now wrapping is not always my preferred way of using a, like heat control methods but it is a very efficient one and if you do it properly like this it will last a long time uh, just make sure that you do fully coat the pipe so that way no water is going to intrude make sure that you do mask off the flanges like we did on this one uh, just because these holes are threaded and we don't want to start destroying those or we don't want to fill them up with paint and then try to run a bolt through there it's just not going to end extremely well like i said i'm super stoked to get that pipe done um been meaning to do it for a couple days now and finally getting around to it now that i'm feeling like 100 percent again so we will be installing this over pipe on the brz here probably in the next video or the one after just because i am curious to see if an over pipe is going to make any any type of difference on the car like i said i'm not entirely sure why i bought this but i bought this so it's going on the brz i don't know something like i said sometimes i randomly buy parts so Glad that's done. Looks awesome. Super stoked for it. So, I mean, with that, that is go really, that, I think that's the end of the video. I think we're, I think that's the end right here. Um, also, we hit 12K subs. So once again, thank you everyone for the continued support and uh, yeah, just all the awesome. You guys are an awesome community. Uh, once again, thank you for everyone who came into the live stream over the past weekend. I have decided the live stream is going to be a bi-weekly thing. So not this coming weekend, but the next weekend we will be doing it again on Sunday. Um, I like answering your guys' questions. I also ordered a higher quality webcam. So uh, that way it won't be as pixelated grainy and it'll look... It'll look hopefully like this quality on this camera does. But like I said, with that, that is the end of this video. So, I mean, if you guys enjoyed the video on wrapping and uh, you're gonna go try this on some of your stuff, smash that like button. You know what to do, just like the blue Subaru. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel and you wanna be, let's do this top right corner up, up there, way up there. Ooh, and with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo!